Remember, change in motion depends on how big a force is and how long it acts. Newton's second law. Yesterday we saw how one can pull a tablecloth out from underneath some china, and that's actually an illustration of Newton's second law. Okay, then I've got a question. What's this for? Well, we can illustrate Newton's second law with that too, if you'll help me rearrange the furniture. Okay. So the professor and I moved the chairs, and he lay down with his head and shoulders on one, his feet on the other. Now, Larry, if you'd put that concrete block on my stomach. <laughs> okay, here you are. Something like that? Actually, like that. Like yeah. that, okay. Good. And now, if you take that sledgehammer Sle over Sledgehammer? There. Now, wait a minute. I don't want to hit you with a sledgehammer. I'm not going to do something like that. That's right. You're not going to hit me with the sledgehammer. You're going to hit the concrete block. I still don't want to do that. <laughs> Why is this safe? Well, because you're going to hit the concrete block really hard, and that concrete block is brittle, so it'll break very quickly. So a big force will act on the concrete block, but for a very short time. I was still skeptical, but he's the professor. He had me put a towel on his face to protect him from splinters. And then, swing away. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh boy! That's great. <laughs> Are you okay? Just fine. <laughs>